Hello everyone, welcome to another session on IT and Automation Academy YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about RPC and VFD and understand the key differences between them. Before we start this video, if you're new to this channel consider subscribing, turn your notifications on, if you don't want to miss our future content. Let's start with Rotary Phase Converter, RPC. A Rotary Phase Converter, RPC, is a device that transforms regular single-phase electricity into the specialized three-phase electricity. This is important because many industrial and commercial machines require three-phase power to operate efficiently. Here's how RPCs work. RPCs use a rotating component, like a motor or generator, to generate the additional third phase of power. They take the regular single-phase power and convert it into stable three-phase power, allowing machines designed for three-phase power to run smoothly. Now, let's discuss the advantages of RPC. First is simplicity. RPCs are straightforward with fewer electronic components. Second advantage is high starting power, ideal for heavy-duty industrial machines that need a powerful start. Third advantage is durability. RPCs can withstand harsh industrial environments. Fourth advantage is compatibility. They can upgrade older machines designed for three-phase power without significant expenses. However, there are some limitations of RPC. The first limitation is efficiency. RPCs consume a lot of energy even when not much power is required, resulting in energy wastage. The second limitation is no speed control. RPCs cannot adjust the motor's speed. It remains constant. Now, moving on to Variable Frequency Drive, VFD. A Variable Frequency Drive, VFD, is an electronic device that regulates the speed and power supplied to an electric motor. This control enables precise adjustments to the motor's speed and performance. Here's how VFDs work. VFDs modify the power sent to the motor based on the desired speed and workload, offering precise control over the motor's speed and performance. Let's explore the advantages of VFD. First advantage is energy efficiency. VFDs save energy by adapting the motor's speed to match the workload, unlike RPCs that continuously run at full power. Second advantage is precise control. VFDs can finely adjust motor speed, which is perfect for tasks with changing requirements. Third advantage is gentle start. VFDs initiate the motor smoothly, reducing stress on equipment during startup. Fourth advantage is variable speed. VFDs can change motor speed as needed, crucial for tasks with varying demands. Fifth advantage of VFD is multi-motor control. VFDs can manage multiple motors simultaneously beneficial for complex setups. Sixth advantage is advanced features. VFDs offer advanced functions like acceleration control and dynamic speed adjustments. Now, let's talk about the limitations of VFD. First limitation is complexity. Installing and configuring VFDs is more intricate. Second limitation is cost. VFDs may have a higher initial cost compared to RPCs. Third limitation is harmonic distortion. VFDs can introduce electrical distortion, requiring additional equipment for correction. Fourth limitation is installation requirements. Proper setup and power quality measures are essential to avoid issues. In summary, the choice between RPC and VFD depends on your specific needs. RPCs are simple and suitable for basic tasks that require a strong start, where energy efficiency is not a significant concern. On the other hand, VFDs are more advanced, energy efficient, and precise, making them better for tasks with varying requirements and where energy conservation is important. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, consider hitting like button, subscribe if you have not yet. Until next time, take care and Allah Hafiz.